what are your plans or intentions for creating and fostering a more co cohesive culture within the diversity of Hempstead? And that will be crazy. Well, I love the cultural arts, and I think it was a, 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 a tremendous part of the curriculum when I was a student here. Uh, we went, when I was older, I, I, if I said I didn't like a, a certain type of music, it was because I experienced it as a part of my educational experience. So we went to the opera, we went to classical concerts, and I, I went to Jackson School, as I said, and I'm sure that the rest of the schools did it, but I know at Jackson for sure. You know, um, we, we experienced a plethora of different types of, of performances. Well, I saw a ballet. So when I said, oh, I didn't like, I don't like opera, I, I was basing that on something. I wasn't basing it on anything that I had not experienced. And, um, and now that Hempstead is multicultural, because it, it was, it was just us when I was here. But um, now, well, it was. And so we had the black experience. We had things that really made us who we are today. Um, and I think that we shouldn't shy from that. The black experience is a wonderful thing. The Latino experience is a wonderful thing. And we have to be creative enough to expose all of the children and have an appreciation for it. So when our children are in that Spanish class, for, from eighth grade straight through high school, I would like to see our children go to a Spanish-speaking country so they can use it. They're in that French class. They need to go to a French-speaking country so they can use it. And we have to become more creative and come up with ideas where we can have partnerships with different businesses because we, we, are, we are tremendous consumers you know, of all cultures. And we need to come up with pa partnerships so that our children can be exposed. And, and that helps our children to appreciate life and appreciate other people in a different light. All they see is what we have here and what we present to them in this community. And so we have to be a little more creative and a little more responsible so that we can expose our children to cultural opportunities. I believe that we need to, in the classrooms, um, some homework assignments, I think we need to join them together. I believe in sports and gym, that they need to be, that we need to make them embrace each other in, the, in, in gym, in class, and throughout the, throughout the, the school day. So, um, you know, if it's one day out, out of the month, you can have a culture, a, a multicultural day where you can teach each, each one of the cultures about each other's cultures, that they can be a little bit more informed on what they do. I think we all need, even as adults, we need to um, get to know a little bit more about the Hispanic culture, as well as I believe that the Hispanic need to know a little bit more about the black culture. So I think um, in, in school, I think in classroom homework assignments, they can do homework projects together. I think in gym, they can work together. And I think that we need to, as, as, as the coaches, they need to push for more, for, or if it's soccer, they need to push for more blacks to come out. If it's basketball, ask some of the uh, Hispanics to come out. You know, to let them know that we're trying to, that we're showing that, we're trying to bring this culture here together. I think that each school should have multicultural classrooms. At least one class should be taken where all students of different nationalities have to attend. They learn each other's ethnic, uh, the foods that they eat, the clothes that they wear, and why, their religious beliefs. Well, we can't really do that in the schools nowadays, but this would, will, they'll get a sense of what the other one, what the other person is experiencing in their home life outside of school and why they dress this way or why they eat this way. So that this way it would, it would ease some tension on all the children and again, they'll all feel equal. I know that diversity is important. Um, I don't like when I hear people talk about uh, how 
our community is changing and act like a diversified community is a bad thing. That's right. uh, we need to embrace one another, especially our Latino brothers and sisters, because there was a time when other people didn't want us in the community. Hello. And so we must remember that we need to not uh, treat people like we were treated in the past. Let's embrace one another. I think the school should have some uh, days of multicultural day where we get to experience each other food. Food brings people together. Uh, I have a friend, Pastor Ishmael Claudio from the Iglesia Pentecostal Church, and there's uh, a seafood dish that they make that every time I eat it, I think I'm in glory. So I think that when we have programs like that where we learn each other cultures, it's very important.